Hello everyone and welcome to San Diego Market Movers Question of the Week. Today we have Michael Sutton. Hi Michael. Hey, how's it going? I'm doing really well. It's nice to have you here. Hey, thanks. It's nice to be here. Yeah, so the question of the week is, what are the most effective ways to maximize home sale price in this low inventory market? So what are the most effective ways to maximize home sale price mm -hmm. in today's market? Yes. That's a great question. So what my team mm -hmm. is doing currently, a few things, right? So first of all, every deal is different. We've got to assess the client's wants, needs, and what they're willing to do and unwilling to do, um, what their kind of number they want to mm -hmm. get and net, and then what their timeline is like. And based on these things, in, in a perfect scenario, right, mm -hmm. what we'd like to do is price it right. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is we like to actually price in line with the comps because basic human psychology Right. How mm -hmm. many times do you see a car ad and it says it's 30,000? You right. go into the dealership and by the time you actually get the version of the car you want, it's closer to 40 and mm -hmm. then the tax and everything and the extended warranty. Then you're at like more than that. Right. But do you still go home with the car? Most people do. Mm -hmm. So getting people in the door with a good a, the perceive a perception of a home that's priced right and right. is a good value is important. The other thing is using high quality photographs okay. and using great staging or using a combination. I work with a great company called Wit and Whims Interiors mm -hmm. and what they'll actually do is they'll do a live-in staging. So they'll bring in some pieces and they'll also take the furniture's, furniture pieces that are there and rearrange and style them. So it's a more refined look. Mm -hmm. And so um, we also recommend certain upgrades that are cost effective and give a high ROI. For example, paint, mm -hmm. um, countertops, flooring, tile backsplash in the kitchen, and new light fixtures and other things like that. Um, painting cabinets is mm -hmm. also something that's huge. Yeah. So many times, so oftentimes, how many times do you hear this? Someone walks in a house and says, you know what, this works for our budget. It's kind of meh, yeah. but it pencils right, like, I guess we'll buy it, mm -hmm. never. But how often do you hear someone come in and say, this is over our budget, mm -hmm. like, I don't know, we're stretching, but it's gorgeous, I love it, I've got to have it, and it just feels right. Right. So creating that beautiful space that draws people in with the pictures first, mm -hmm. because let's face it, everyone's looking on the internet, right? Right. If you're going to set your friend up on a blind date, are you going to show them, like, the best picture? of the person you want them to go out with, mm -hmm. or like just some like random phone selfie. <laughs> the best picture. The best picture, of right. course, right? And so their excitement level, if you're thinking like, you know, the RPM, it's like revving high. Like, I'm excited to see this. They walk in, their expectations are met or exceeded. Mm -hmm. They're like, I'm really excited about this. We also have right now the luxury of having a lot of buyers in low inventory. And so we try to schedule all showings as close together as possible, mm -hmm. thus creating an atmosphere where you can walk in and see with your own eyes how many people really are interested in the home. Right. So that fear of losing out is also going to create a sense of urgency, which plenty of research indicates creates that feeling of scarcity and mm -hmm. it causes people to take action and move. Mm -hmm. So this. In our experience, we've had great success getting really high prices for our clients by creating this really attractive space, mm -hmm. using really attractive photos so people are already excited. Mm -hmm. They walk in, they're like really excited, yeah. they see all the people, they're like, I gotta have this, I need this now. And we've had great luck and our clients have had some serious wins. It's a lot easier to go from one emotion mm -hmm. to one closer. It's really hard if you have a great house and you have you know, kind of bad pictures and bad furniture, and you walk in and they're not really excited, it's just kind of one on the list. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, this is better than I thought. And you're like, just a little bit. So we try to get from the very first impression, a great impression, and keep that up throughout, drive a sense of urgency, and we work with a great team of designers, contractors, handymen, um, agents, yeah. uh, escrow title lenders, everyone we work with is carefully selected. These aren't my buddies that I go play golf with mm -hmm. or stuff like that. These are the people that I found do the best work for our clients and we've had great success. 
That's awesome. It looks like you bring a lot of value to your clients. We definitely bring a lot of value. Don't not trying to like toot my own horn, but definitely we do bring a lot of value and we take pride in the fact that we um, our team has a couple philosophies, right? The first one is when people get a good education and they get reliable information, mm -hmm. they're going to tend to make the best decisions, right? Yeah. So we take kind of a consultative approach of, hey, let's get you educated mm -hmm. and let's set expectations. If you come in the market and you have no context and you say, hey, we want to offer below list price when things are going 100 over, you're not going to have a good time. So we want to get people educated, give them the market data, give them historical context, put that in context of how we project what may come in the future, right? And then look at a lot of different factors and assess their goals. How long do you want to live in the property, mm -hmm. right? If you bought right before the you know, 2008 mortgage crisis, but you held until now, at the time you're probably feeling bad, but right now you're like, wow, I'm the smartest guy in the room, right? right? So, you know, it's not necessarily about timing the market, mm -hmm. but time in the market. Right. Right. So um, having people and in, in taking that approach of coming from contribution and how can we help prepare and, you know, equip our clients mm -hmm. to be able to make decisions that are informed and educated is, I think, part of why our clients have so much success and part of why our team, I think, you know, last year, um, you know, 99% of our deals come from referral. Mm -hmm. So if that says anything, I mean, we think it does. Yeah, I think it does too. Thank you so much. I think that's wonderful advice, Michael. That's Michael Sutton with San Diego Market Movers Question of the Week.